Good afternoon, William. Do you listen to me? Hello, William. Wilfredo, sorry. Christian Wilfredo, hello. Wilfredo, Christian. Christian Wilfredo. Good afternoon, Christian Wilfredo. Hello, Christian. Hello, teacher. Ah, do you listen to me? Yes. I <laughs> thought that I had, uh, you know, problems with my microphone, but everything is okay. Okay, thank you for being here on time. It is nice to have you here. And tell me, did you continue working in the platform? ¿Siguió trabajando en la plataforma, William? Sí. Ok, sí, excelente. Sí, de eso se trata, ¿verdad? De ir avanzando lo más posible en la plataforma. Hoy por la noche y mañana voy a estar actualizando sus, sus trabajos, ¿sí? Porque la semana pasada así lo hice. Ah, okay. Entonces vamos a ir iniciando. Tal vez se unen algunos compañeros más. Esperemos que sí, ¿verdad? Sí, la cosa no, es que como, que como hemos salido desvelados ahora en la mañana, entonces, ah, a saber si se, si se van a conectar. Ojalá que se despierten, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, así pasa, así me pasó con el grupo anterior cuando salían desvelados. Les sí. costaba porque sí, salen realmente cansados, ¿verdad? Bueno, sí, esperemos por que eso. sí, porque acá se está uniendo ya Carlos Luis Quintanilla. Esperemos un ratito. Ok. Ok, great. Let's wait for Carlos Luis to activate his audio, his microphone. Hello, Carlos Luis. Hello. Good afternoon, Carlos Luis. Do you listen to me? Are you okay with your audio, Carlos? Hello? Mm, I don't know if he's having problems. Carlos Luis, hello, Carlos Luis me escucha, está bien con el audio o tiene algún problema con el audio, Carlos Luis, no le escucho. Me escucho. No, yes, sí, ahora sí ya le escucho, va en ruta. No, no, no. Ah, ok, great, ok, excellent, so let's get started. I was listening that you are coming from work. Estaba escuchando que están desvelados, que tuvieron turnos de noche todos estos días, ¿sí? Así es. Ok, esperemos que se puedan conectar más compañeros en el transcurso de la clase, ¿verdad? Pero pues le estaba preguntando a Cristian sobre el trabajo en la plataforma. ¿Usted sí ha estado trabajando también? Carlos Luis. Hola. Sí, sí, ya, ya completé todo lo que se me solicitó. Ok, perfecto, excelente. Sí, de eso se trata, ¿verdad? De ir avanzando lo más que podamos en la plataforma por eh, cuestiones de trabajo de ustedes y también por, ah, aquí me está escribiendo. Ok. Uno de sus compañeros que se va a unir dentro de otro momento a la clase. ¿Verdad? Vamos a contestar acá. Ok. 
Okay. So right now, let's continue. And we are going to have a feedback, okay? I'm going to present my PPT class. I'm going to share my PPT with you while the others join. And this is, okay, it is loading the agenda for our class number three. And here we go. We have the welcoming, okay, as every single day that we have been meeting here. We continue with the simple present questions. What's your schedule like? Predicting, scanning, and sequencing. Then we're going to continue with the creation of a conversation. You are going to create a conversation. You're going to be also working with my daily routine. You are going to be building your daily routine at home and at work. And as uh, our activity number six, does it have a view? We're going to be answering this question. And also you are going to be practicing a conversation. My weekly routine. This is, again, because here in number five, we have my daily routine every day. But in number seven, we have my weekly routine, the routine during the week. And we have the wrapping up in number eight. So here I have the, the objectives. Who wants to help me reading the objectives? Hello. Uh, Wilfredo, would you please? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, a specific objective. Be the aim of this class, you will uh, develop a skill in predicting, yes. scanning and sequencing, even after waiting and this discussing three interpret a schedule. A class objective to develop a skill in predicting, scanning, and sequencing even after reading and discussing three interviews about the schedule. Excellent. Thank you so much. So our class objective is to develop skills, desarrollar, develop. desarrollar habilidades, develop skills. skills in predicting, develop. scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about the schedules, okay? Thank you so much. And then this is the group of WhatsApp, but both of you are in the group, there is no problem. And just a reminder for homeworks and evaluations, okay? Let's remember that es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Ya saben que las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se aconseja, se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase porque tenemos el conocimiento fresquito. Puede adelantar el contenido todo lo que pueda y si hay dudas, pues la, me escribe o las escribe en el chat de WhatsApp y con gusto le vamos a ayudar. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insaport semanalmente. El material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital, ¿ok? Y luego tenemos acá que la sección 1 y 2 ya deberíamos de tenerla bien adelantada. En el mejor de los casos, haber terminado la sección 1 y 2, ¿verdad? Para que la semana 2 tengamos la sección 3 y el midterm que sería este fin de semana. Porque recuerden que vamos a tener clase este día y mañana. Today and tomorrow we have a class, ¿ya? Yeah? And later, let me see, after, okay, let me double check. After today and tomorrow, we're going to have a class after in 15 days. En 15 días, a partir de mañana, nos tendremos la otra clase el día 24, porque el día 17 de, de junio es asueto, ¿verdad? Nacional, mm -hmm. Father's Day. Entonces, por eso se les pide que vayan eh, trabajando lo más posible en la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, si no se nos olvida el tema, ¿verdad? El contenido. Then here, 
thank you because your cameras are on. Your microphone off if it is possible. The attendance list, I'm going to take the attendance list later on. Uh, your full name, excellent. Um, active participation, and we're going to be using the two chats via WhatsApp and uh, via Zoom. Raise your hand if you want to participate or interrupt something. Siempre mantener el respeto. Respect above all the things, okay? And then here, attendance at least 80% in order to in order to have uh, the right to get the diploma. Avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje lo más posible, ¿verdad? Desde que iniciamos la clase hasta que la vayamos a terminar en julio, ¿sí? El 10 de julio, creo. Debemos asistir a las clases en, la, en los horarios establecidos, tener cámara encendida. Son horas reloj, las horas clases. Es decir, iniciamos a las 3, terminamos a las 5, 120 minutos de conexión es lo mínimo que se les pide. Y trabajar los ejercicios en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y acá tenemos, we're going to have a feedback. The simple present statements, oraciones en presente simple. If you remember class, this is what we were studying last Saturday, right? Afternoon. So the point here is that we need to focus on the affirmative statements in simple present tense because in the third person singular, the verbs change. Notice here, we have, I walk to school, you ride your bike, he works near here, she takes the bus to work, we live with our parents, they use public transportation. Entonces, he and she cambian porque, de acuerdo a las reglas que hemos estado viendo, generalmente se le agrega la letra S cuando el sujeto de la oración es el, ella, et, ¿verdad?, y el complemento con los otros pronombres personales, there is no change. And in the negative, we use don't and doesn't. You use doesn't for he, she, it. Yes, I don't live, you don't live, he doesn't work, she doesn't work, we don't live, they don't live. And notice here, class, what we have. Contractions, don't is do not, doesn't is does not. And we were working in the completion of these exercises. Do you remember this? Yes? ¿Te recuerdan de esto? Yeah? Okay, now I'm going to share my whiteboard with you. Hello, Jennifer, welcome. So we can have in here. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Welcome. Great to have you here, Miss. Okay, so here we go. Okay, here. Let's remember, class, that we have this verb do. It has double function as a simple verb and as a modal verb. Recordemos que este verbo tiene doble función, como verbo simple y como verbo auxiliar, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, ¿qué sucede? Cuando lo conjugamos en presente simple como verbo simple, podemos decir, he does the homework. Él hace su tarea como parte de su rutina, ¿sí? He does the homework every afternoon. Cada tarde. El verbo es do, pero lo convertimos en das cuando lo usamos con he, she o it. ¿Por qué? Porque es tercera persona de singular. Y recordemos que como el verbo termina en o, para los verbos que terminan en o, ¿ok? En presente simple y lo usamos con he, she, it, le vamos a agregar la letra es. Yes? If we say she goes to school in the morning, 
en la mañana, ¿sí? Acá, fíjense bien, das está como verbo simple, como cualquier verbo, igual que go, goes. Le agregamos la es cuando lo utilizamos con he, she, it, ¿de acuerdo? Esa es una regla. Pero, ¿qué sucede cuando este verbo lo utilizamos como verbo auxiliar? Es do para I, you, we, they. ¿Qué sucede cuando lo utilizamos con he, she, it? La tercera persona de singular va a ser das. Sería con he, she, it. Yes or no? Y por eso decimos, does he live in San Salvador? Does she work in a hospital? Yes. ¿Sí? ¿Estamos claros hasta acá? Nos sirve para estructurar preguntas en presente simple, pero en tercera persona de singular en presente simple. ¿Estamos claros hasta acá? ¿Con este feedback? Yes. Yes. Okay, if you have any question, you tell yes. me. So we change this for don't and doesn't in negative. Is that okay? Okay, this is the feedback of the week. Este es el repaso de la semana. Then let's continue. And uh, here we go with the next slide. The simple present statements with uh, with irregular verbs. Teníamos en el entendido que los verbos irregulares son aquellos que cambian de su presente a su pasado. And here we go. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. Nótese que acá tenemos el verbo do como verbo principal y el verbo go. Ambos terminan en o, oh, pero como no estamos usando como sujeto he, she, it, entonces el verbo no cambia. ¿De acuerdo? Luego tenemos he, she, it, tercera persona de singular. My father has a car. Acá el verbo ya sufrió un cambio. Porque el verbo es have, pero como el sujeto es my father, mi papá quiere decir él, por lo tanto escribimos has. My mother does a lot, a lot of work at home. ¿Qué es lo que les decía? My mother equals she, so we say does a lot of work at home. The bus goes downtown. The bus, it goes downtown. And we went over. This exercise last week, if you remember. ¿Se recuerdan que trabajamos esto la semana pasada? And we were saying, my parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad go downtown to work. My parents are very busy. So I do a lot of work at home. The second paragraph. My brother doesn't live with us. He has an apartment in the city. He goes to school all day and he does office work at night. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We go to the same school and sometimes we do our homework together. Esto es repaso también de lo que estudiamos en la clase anterior. Questions so far? Si hay preguntas, me las hacen por favor, ¿ok? So, let's continue. And here. If you remember, we were practicing with the third person singular endings with S. Take, takes. Walk, walks. Go, goes. Study, studies. Dance, dances. Watch, watches. Irregular. Do, does. Have, has. Y ustedes construyeron un pequeño párrafo, ¿se recuerdan? Y lo compartieron en los breakout rooms. Now, let's continue. 
here we go. Simple present questions. As I told you, we begin with do or does the questions in the simple present tense when we don't see the verb to be in the sentence. Cuando no vemos el verbo to be en la oración, usamos do or does, ¿de acuerdo? Examples, do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they uh, drive to work? Every day. También estuvimos completando este ejercicio. ¿Sí lo recuerdan? Yes. Okay. So let's continue. And here. Now you are going to work at page 40 class. Okay, and since you are just a few, como son bien pocos, lo vamos a hacer juntos. No nos vamos a ir al breakout room. Okay, here, at page 40 in your manual. I'm going to scramble the questions, okay? For example, let's follow the question, the example. Do you exercise every day? And the words were, you every day exercise do. Yes, I exercise every day. Now, in number two, what should be the question? You, what time uh, lunch do eat? You have to organize these words in order to create questions, okay? You have to go over questions number two, three, and four at page 40 in your manual, okay? En la página 40 del manual, vamos, ex, ejercicio C, vamos a construir esas oraciones, okay? So, let me see over here. It's over here. Okay, class, let's analyze it. We have, do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. Now, class, what should be the question for number two? You, what time lunch do eat at 1 p.m. is the answer. The question should be. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Iniciaríamos con do o con das? Con do. Do con you. Do. Very do well. You. Excellent. Great. So here we go. Do you. Do you eat? Ah, sí, do pero you... como lleva, oigan, ajá, do you ajá. eat? Excellent, do you eat? Ajá. Como tenemos la palabra, what time, ¿se recuerdan de la estructura? Que cuando era con WH Information Questions, eso debería de ir al principio. Entonces, iniciamos con what time do you, yes, what time do you eat? El complemento sería, what time do you eat? Hello. Do you eat lunch? Lunch, very well. What time do you eat lunch? We don't write the question mark because we already have it here. Miren, no le, no le eh, agregamos sino interrogación porque ya lo tenemos acá, ¿ok? What time do you eat lunch? At 1 p.m. Now, the next question is, at start, does 8 o'clock this class? No, this class starts at 9 o'clock, ¿ok? Mm. Acá, como no vemos what time, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces sería... Das. Das. das, ok, very well, das. Mm -hmm. El subject, ¿cuál sería el subject? ¿De qué estamos hablando? Uh, this class. Das, this das class. class, ok, das great. Class. Does this class? El verbo? Start. Start. Does this class start? 
at if a o'clock. Okay, does this class start at eight o'clock? No, this class starts at nine o'clock. Yeah, this class starts at nine o'clock. Now go over number four. You do it alone and then we're going to do it together. Construyan la pregunta y luego la verificamos. Okay? You do it on your own. Number four, sería. Yeah, number four. When do you study English? When do you study English very well? It's about a frequency word. When do you study English? When do you study English? I study English in the evening. Okay? So the questions are, do you exercise every day? What time do you eat lunch? Does this class start at 8 o'clock? When do you study English? Yes? And then the potential answers are, um, yes, I exercise every day at 1 p.m. No, this class starts at, in nuestro caso sería, at 3 o'clock. I study English in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, ¿ok? Dependiendo de cuándo es que ustedes estudian, porque usted tiene la clase at 3 p.m., but when do you study? ¿A qué horas estudias? En la plataforma, en este caso, ¿sí? And then you say the time. So you're going to be asking and answering these questions, ¿ok? Uh, let's see. Cristian Wilfredo, ask the first question to Emperatriz. Uh, what, what question? Teacher? Question number one. Question number Do one. you exercise? Okay. Uh, do you exercise every day? I, I do exercise tomorrow. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. Yes, okay. I do. Okay, yes, I, I exercise on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Es la respuesta corta. I exercise on Saturday, porque mañana es sábado, right? I exercise on Saturday. Es usted quien eh, hace ejercicio el sábado. Okay, now, Emperatriz, ask question number two to Christian Wilfredo. What day do you eat lunch? Mm. At three, three o'clock. A las tres de la tarde. At three o'clock. A esa hora almuerzo. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Christian, ask question number three to Carlos Luis. Um, so. Okay. Uh, does this class start at eight o'clock, uh, Carlos? Or, pardon, or this? No, no, those, no that's, those, that's okay. Those, does this class yeah. start at eight o'clock? Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, I do. Three, no, three no, mm -hmm. no, sería? porque no comienza a las, a las, tendría que ser, le voy a escribir acá la respuesta, eh, okay. en esta parte, aquí, aquí al final para que la vean, no, no, this class starts at, uh, two. at three, at 3 p.m. At 3 o'clock. Mm. 
at 3 o'clock starts. Okay. Ayan, Mr. No, this class starts at 3 o'clock. Sí. No, esta clase inicia a las 3 en punto. Okay, Christian, ask the question one more time to Carlos. Pregúntele nuevamente a Carlos. Okay. Uh, the... Number three, question number When... three. Three, three, three. Does the class start at eight o'clock? This class? No, this class starts at three o'clock. Okay, very well. Excellent. Now, Carlos, ask question number four to Emperatriz. When, When do you do study, you study English? English, Emperatriz? I study English in the evening. In after. the evening. No, in, in the, the evening or afternoon. In the evening is desde las cuatro en adelante. Okay. In the afternoon. Okay, in the afternoon. Now, Emperatriz, ask the question to Christian. Question number four. Four. What do you study in English? I study English in the afternoon. Okay. Carlos, ask the question to Christian Wilfredo. Misma. Yes, the same. When do you study English, Christian? Uh, I I study English in the uh, oops. In the evening, uh, in the morning. In the evening, in the okay. Morning. Okay, in the evening, in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. Yeah. Okay, very well. Thank you. Now here. We were working with this conversation. I get up early on weekdays and Saturdays, but I sleep late on Sundays. I get up early on weekdays too. I get up at six o'clock. Really? I get up late every day. En serio, yo todos los días me levanto tarde. Miren qué maravilloso. Okay, <laughs> now I need a uh, Christian and Carlos, Luis, please read the conversation. Christian, you are A, and Carlos, you are B, and Emperatriz is letter C. Let's begin. One, two, three. Uh, I get up early on weekday and Saturday, but I sleep late uh -huh. on Sunday. I get up early on Wednesday to at great uh, at uh, I get up mm -hmm. I get up at 7 a.m. Okay, Carlos Luis. Yeah. Really? Really? I get up late every day. Es que me confundió porque yeah, como yeah, I know, yes. Yes, okay, no problem. Yeah, I got it. And now here, what's your schedule like? Look at the pictures and the labels. Who gets up early? Who gets up late? But we're going to watch this in the platform so you can listen to native speakers, okay? And this is at page uh, 41, okay? So here we go, class. And where is the platform? Over here. Okay, class. This is what we did. And if you remember, I asked you to write here what the presenter asked you to write in the platform, right? And here I have, when are we going for a walk to the lake? We're going to the lake next week. Aquí hay algunos participantes, ¿verdad? Que ya escribieron algo. Espero que todos lo hayan escrito, ¿sí? And then we move to the next. Because... In the next, we had uh, the knowledge test that you were supposed to, right? To go over it. Yeah. And here we have what's your schedule like. So I'm going to magnify and open your ears so we listen to the presenter. Hi, everyone. 
In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Okay. So, it was the pronunciation. Here. Let's see. Now it's time for you to practice this conversation. A student reporter, Mike Starr, talks to people on the street about their schedules. And the question is, what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? Look at the pictures and the labels here. Who gets up early and who gets up late? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Here we have Brittany and David. Uh, Brittany Davis, college student. So, uh, Christian, you are going to read Mike. And Imperatriz, you are going to read. Uh, we have more participants. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Four. And you are only three, okay. Christian, you are Mike. Miss Emperatriz, you read Brittany. And uh, Carlos, you are going to read MS and you are going to read BD. Okay? So you're going to read twice, Carlos. Yes? Sí, Carlos? I have a question. Yes, tell me. What I mean, the question, what's your schedule like? ¿Cómo es tu horario? ¿Cuál es tu horario? My class start at 8 a.m. No, todavía no. Todavía no. Emperatriz, Emperatriz, ¿cuál es? Eso le estamos preguntando el significado porque quien va a interpretar a Mike será Christian Wilfredo. Emperatriz, Brittany. And uh -huh. Carlos will read two times because he's going to read MS and BD. Ok, let's begin. A Christian, mm. you start. Uh, what's your schedule like? Did you say every night? Oh, no. Yes, miss. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yes, you are. M my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 a.m. take the bus to school. Carlos? Carlos, the microphone. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, when do your classes end? They at end at, at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until my, my night. Midnight. Midnight. Very well. Now, Joshua Burns, the website designer. Mike, Joshua, MS, and JB. 
So here we go. Uh, Christian is going to read uh, Joshua. Okay. Yes. Emperatriz, you read Mike. And Carlos, you read MS and JD. Okay. 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 What's your schedule like? Schedule. 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 Schedule like. What's your schedule like? Well, uh, get up at 6. 30. Go study. Um, go for a room before breakfast. How do you go to work? I go at home. I start work at 8 around uh, 1. I take a lunch break. How how late do you work? Sometimes I work uh, all night to finish a project. Okay. Now we have uh, here. Carlos, you are going to read Mike. Okay. Emperatriz, you read Maya and MS. Emperatriz, usted lee dos personajes, Maya y MS. Y vamos okay. a escuchar a Mr. Christian leyendo MB. Okay, begin, please. Okay. What's your schedule like? At work, at night, I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you after work? Uh, I have I have dinner, then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. Okay. Okay, great, very well. Now here we go. Hello, Ricardo. Welcome. Now, uh. Please repeat after me. What's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? Todo mundo repitiendo, okay? What's your schedule like? What's your, What's your schedule, schedule like? like? My class, my classes start at 8 a.m. My, my classes, classes start, start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7. So, so get up I get up seven. seven and take the bus to school. And, and take, take the, the bus, bus to, to school. school. When do your classes end? When do your when do classes, your classes end? end? They end at noon. They end they at end noon. Then I have a job at the library. Then I have, then have, have a, a job at the uh, library. 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 Then, then I have a job at the library. Then I have a job at the library. Okay, job, como la O, como job. que si fuera una A suavecita. Job. 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 Library. 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 Okay, so when do you study? So when so, do you study? So when do you study? So when do you study? So when, so do, when you do you study? study? <clears throat> My only time to study is in the evening. My only time to study is in the evening. evening. From, from eight, eight from until midnight. From eight, eight until midnight. 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 Okay. Midnight. What's your schedule like? What your schedule, schedule like? like? Like. Well, I get up at six thirty a.m. Well, well, I get up I at, at, at seven. At six thirty a.m. Acabamos en el segundo mm. conversación, Ricardo. Well, okay. I get up at six thirty a.m. Repeat. Well. Well, I, well, I, I get up at six, six, six thirty. Seven. Uh, no, a.m. Six seven. No, six thirty. Thirty. Six 
Setting, 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 setting and M. 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 And go, go for a run before breakfast. And go and for go a run, run before, before, break break before breakfast. How do you go to work? How, How did you go, go to work? work? I work at home. I, I work at home. home. I start work. I work, I work, 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 How late do you work? How, How late do you work? work? Sometimes I work all night. Sometimes, Sometimes I go all, all night, all night to friends. To finish a project. To finish a project. What's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? I work at night. I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. And, and I play and, and I play you three AM and I play until three AM. I I play three AM. What do you do after work? What, what do, do you do after, after work? work? I have dinner. I, I have dinner. dinner. Then I take a taxi home. Then I take a taxi, taxi, taxi home. home. What time do you go to bed? What, what time, time do, do you go to bed? bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. I, I go, go to, to bed, bed at five in the morning. morning. Very well. So now here. We have read the article many times. So you read it silently and then number the activities each person's schedule from one to five, okay? Brittany Davis, here we go. The first conversation is about Brittany Davis. The second conversation is about Joshua Burns' website designer, Joshua. And the third one is about Maya Black. So here. Brittany Davis, she goes to class, she takes the bus, she works, she studies, or she gets up. Tell me. Okay. Brittany. Okay. Okay, here we go, class. Tell me, Brittany Davis, A, B, C, or D. We have to number the activities each person in each person's schedule from one to five. Okay, what does she do first? Okay, she goes to class, she takes the bus, she works, she studies, or she gets up. Here you have number one. She gets up, which is activity number two. Okay, according to what she says. Uh, my class is start, okay, so what does she do? Uh, two. No, pues sí, pero ¿cuál es? Porque la número uno, she gets up, es lo primero que hace, despertarse, uh -huh. levantarse, ¿sí? En then eh, el eight, eight, eh, eh, She goes to class. Sí, class. Uh -huh. My class starts, ok. So here, letter A should oh, be no. number two. She goes to class. And then she takes the bus. She takes the bus. No, she takes the bus very well. And number three is she goes to school, right? Yes. yes. Right. So we have this is number three. What about number four? She works or she studies? 
Magic words. Uh, my, my classes start at my. 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. That's okay. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job. So she uh, she works. She mm -hmm. Letter C, number four, right? And then she studies. So when do you study? Yeah, My so. only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. So this should be letter number five. Uy. Here, number five. Is that okay? okay? Now it is your turn. You are going to organize and write here the numbers according to the events here described in the conversations, okay? For Joshua and for Maya. I'm going to keep it like this, so it's going Gosh. to be easier for you to be writing, okay? When you finish, you tell me. Cuando terminan, me avisan, okay? Okay. Okay, while you are, while you are working on that, Thank you. I'm going to take your attendance as first part. Uh, Adilman Alexander, absent. Ana Margarita Aguilar, absent. Antonio de Jesus, absent. Yeah. Carlos Luis is here. Yeah, Carlos mm -hmm. Luis. Present. Thank you. Cristian Wilfredo. Present. Thank you. Emperatriz. Present. Thank you. Fátima Yamilet, absent. Fernando Antonio, absent. Glenda Guadalupe González is absent today. Jennifer Veronica, she was here, but now she's absent, correct? Jennifer Veronica, no, Glenda has been absent. Jennifer was here. Uh, Jose Francisco, absent. Juan Antonio, absent. Luisa, Luis Audiel, absent today. Naomi Magdalena, absent. Ricardo Jose Flores, here. Present. Okay. Stanley Ernesto, absent. Walter Mauricio, absent. Jasmine Elizabeth, absent. Okay. When you are done, you tell me so uh, somebody said that it was finished, right? Uno de ustedes, yes. you, okay. Only Carlos Luis. So let's wait for the others, okay? Then we are going to double check. Number one is letter D. He get 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 up. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see, hold it, hold it, mister. Um, according to you, number one is he gets up, letter D. Letter D. Okay, number two. Mm. Which one is number two? A, B, C, E. Which one? Um, I'm going to give you two more minutes, okay? So you double check. Le voy a dar dos minutitos más para que lo terminen y lo revisen bien. Okay? Puedo, puedo yo hacer lo mío, disculpe, Tisha. Sí, y me corrí. Sí, lo, sí. lo que sucede es que no se le escuchaba. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay, so number a... one, he gets up. Number one, he gets up. Uh, number two, letter E, he goes for a run. Uh, okay, number, number three. two. Number three? Number, number three, letter A, he has breakfast. Okay. Number four, letter B, he is star he star world. world. Uh, yeah. Uh, number, five, number five. He eats lunch. Okay. Let's see. Obviously, number one, he gets up, right? And he says, I get up at six and go for a run is number two. Number three, uh, I work at home. 
Mm -hmm. I work at home. I start work at four at eight around one and take a lunch break. Uh, he gets up, he goes for a, he has breakfast. breakfast. He starts work. Uh, and at one, yeah, that's it. That's it. There's no other choice. Okay, do you have the last one for Maya? Mm, or not sure. yet? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, I, uh, number four, she has dinner. Okay. Uh, uh, she has dinner is number four. Number four. Okay. Uh, she she finished work, number two. This is number two. She goes to bed, number five. She goes to bed is number five, okay? She goes to work, number one. And she goes home, number three. She goes to work, number one. And she gets back home. Number three. Mm -hmm. Let's analyze. Number one, she goes to work. Number two, she finishes work. Number three. No, ella no cena en la casa. She has dinner. No. Uh, I, uh, what do you do after work? ¿Qué hace después? I have dinner, then I take, ah, she has dinner at, out. Okay, what time do you go to bed? I, yeah, that's correct. Very well. So we have four, two, five, one, and three. Excellent. Very well. Now, class, what are you going to do? You are going to write five sentences about your schedule. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Early bird, las personas que madrugan. Night owl, las personas que... Se van a la cama ya bien noche, ¿verdad? Okay. Compare mm, with a partner. Work. For example, you yeah. say, aquí con la primera oración van a determinar si son early bird or night owl. If you say, I get up at, a la hora que se levanta. If you say, I get up at uh, seven o'clock. Ya no somos tan early birds, ¿verdad? Pero si alguien se levanta, I get up at, if you're right, at four o'clock, very early bird. Yes, yes, Carlos. Tengo, tengo una duda con el ejercicio anterior. Eh, yes. Porque, porque estaba observando aquí que lo primero que hace es, es she goes to work. Lo segundo, she finish, finish work. Lo mm -hmm. tercero, has dinner. Eh, lo cuarto, she, she goes home. Y lo último, she goes to bed. Sí, tiene toda la razón. No sé si yo lo escribí mal o me lo dictaron mal, pero sí ese es el orden correcto. Porque she has dinner y al final, porque no cena en casa, ¿verdad? Permítanme, ya lo corregimos. Thank you. Ok, over here. Uy, pero se viene para acá abajo. Permítanme, lo vamos a subir un poquito más. Okay. Over here. This should be number three. Thank you for that observation. Number three, and then veamos, veamos. No, pero es que ella, sí, she goes home. Ese sería el número cuatro. Porque ella cena afuera. She goes home. She has dinner out. Later, here we go. I have dinner day. I take a taxi home. Primero cena fuera de su casa. Okay, she has dinner. Then I take a taxi home. Se le va a su casa. And number five, goes to bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Very well. Thank you. Now here, class, I get up at four o'clock. Bueno, esa es mi, 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 mi oración. Ahí cada quien, ¿verdad? 
y ahí I have breakfast y escriben su I, I get up, I have breakfast, I go to work, I have lunch, or I don't know, dependiendo de su rutina, ¿de acuerdo? When you finish, you tell me please, ¿ok? Eh, teacher, una, una consulta. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿Sería la rutina solo de a la hora que nos levantamos o la rutina así, digamos, uh, a la hora only que Only a, a simple, simple activities like this ones, okay? Not a, not a complete routine, but mm. your routine, for example, simple like this, okay? The okay. time that you get up, the time that you have breakfast, the time you go to work, the time you have lunch. The time you finish work, okay? You may say, I finish work at, it can be only five activities, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't exercise or if you don't go for a run, you don't write that.
Okay, finish. Excellent. Would you please read your your uh, routine? I get up at uh, four o'clock. I take a motorcycle. I go to work. I have a lunch. I finish to work at 6 p.m. Excellent. Very well. And I ask you, what time do you go to bed? Uh, 12, 12 o'clock. At midnight. A medianoche. I, I study uh, university. Okay, but you go to bed at midnight. You say, I go to bed at midnight, medianoche. Okay? okay? So you are a night owl. Yes? Sí, porque se va a acostar a medianoche. Entonces, night owl. Now many people, because of the situation, right? That changed. Thank you. Very well, Carlos. Another participant who is over? Christian, Emperatriz. I get up. Okay. I have before 7 a.m. I go to class 3 o'clock. I take the, the bus 3 o'clock cuando voy a trabajar. Uh -huh, when I go to work. I go in the empress. I am I am studying English. I study English. Okay. I study English to today for weekend. Two days in a week. Yeah. Dos días a la semana. Yeah. I yeah. study English two days in a week. In a week. Okay. In a week. Yes. Thank you so much. Very well. Now let's listen to maybe Ricardo or Christian. Who is Christian. ready? Okay, Christian. I get up at five in the morning. I have breakfast at eight in the morning. I have lunch two or three in the afternoon. I eat dinner at seven at night. I go to sleep at ten at night. Okay. Very well done. Ricardo? I want to <clears throat> sorry. I want to try am I, I go to go at sip am I, I start go as uh, for, uh, seven am I, I have noise a uh, a twen, uh, medium es a mediodía verdad ah uh, no noon noon no. okay mm -hmm. okay I am mean, eleven go as <clears throat> As a sip PM, I I came home at seven PM. I have been a uh, seven a uh, seven setting at PM. I go to bed at night. I go to bed at nine. Okay, very okay. well, excellent. Remember noon, la doce del mediodía, midnight. 12 de la medianoche, ¿verdad? Noon, es la 12 en punto. If you say, I have lunch at noon, I take a shower at noon, me tomo una ducha al mediodía, a las 12 exactamente en punto. But if you say, I go to bed at midnight, exactamente a las 12 de la medianoche, ¿ok? Very well, congrats. Now let's continue. And here we have, ¿ok? At page 42 class, imagine your classmates are on vacation. Student B calls you. Ask questions about your classmates. B, student B, imagine you are on vacation with your classmates. Call a student A and answer a student A's questions about your classmates. Here is the example. Uh, let's imagine that I am a student A and let's see maybe... I don't know if Wilfredo, Carlos, Ricardo, or Emperatriz wants to be a student B. Para que completemos la conversación. Okay, hi. Carlos. Uh, I am a hello. And you say hi, it's. Uh, in here, it's Carlos, right? Uh -huh. It's Carlos. Soy Carlos. It's Carlos. 
It's Carlos. I'm on vacation. Lo movemos un poquito para acá. Let's move it so we can have a better view. I'm on vacation in. ¿Dónde está de vacaciones usted, Carlos? Use your imagination. Money, no Para problem. Visa, no problem. Singapore. In Singapore. Singapore. Let's go to Singapore. Okay, the song Singapore. I think it is like this, right? Singapore. Ah, and then I say in Singapore. Okay, oh. here. Oh my gosh, Singapore. And then in Singapore. Wow, who are you with? ¿Con quién estás? ¿Con quién andas? What are you doing? Y usted me contesta con quién anda y qué está haciendo. <laughs> and then you say, I am with... ¿Con quién anda de vacaciones? With my family, my friends, my co-worker, my wife, my girlfriend, whoever, okay? My daughter, my son, ahí usted me dice con quién anda de vacas. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am with. Bueno, ¿quién me estaba contestando? Pues, Tom. Carlos. ¿Con quién anda de vacaciones? With my wife. With my wife. No llevo a los niños, solo a la esposa. With my wife. Uh, I am with my wife. Well, have fun. Bye. Bueno, que se diviertan. Que la pasen bien. Bye, bye. Entonces, ustedes van a hacer parecidos estos cambios, ¿sí? Entonces, como tienen que crear la conversation, I'm going to transfer you to so you can work in pairs para que trabajen en parejas. ¿De acuerdo? So, here we go. Um, we're at page 42, similar to this one, ¿ok? And then you present your conversation to the class. Y luego presentan su conversación a cada la Teacher. clase. Yes, Teacher. sir. Yeah, question. Eh, desde, la, desde el módulo uno, yo tengo la, la, la duda del, del, del it's por, porque yo tenía, yo no sé, no lo entendía como que it's, es para, para, es para cosas. En esta parte, en esta parte. Correcto. Vaya, le aclaro. Gracias por preguntarle. Vamos a recordar. En inglés no decimos, no, no puede usted contestar porque como están hablando por teléfono, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, yo le contesto, hola, hi, it's Carlos, soy Carlos, no va a decir I am Carlos, or I'm Carlos, en inglés se utiliza it is, ¿sí? Cuando es una conversación telefónica para identificarse, ¿sí? Entonces usted no va a decir I am Ricardo Flores. Usted va a decir I am uh, it's Ricardo Flores. ¿Ya? Solo, solo son. Telefónica. Solo ahí. Yes, that's it. Ok, thank sí, you. Para conversation. Excellent. Good question. Any other question, class? No more questions. Ok. Let's go to the breakout rooms. Y ahí crean su conversation. You have five minutes to do it. Practice it and say it in here, okay? Join your groups. Okay, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. Let's begin building the conversation. Comenzamos a construir la conversación, please. Emperatriz, go to your group. Christian, go to your group. Thank you. Yo lo que veo aquí que, que dice, imagina que tú estás en vacaciones con tus compañeros de clase, este, llamando al estudiante A, contestando a, al estudiante con las cuestiones acerca de tus compañeros. Uno de, ustedes va a ser, uno de ustedes va a ser el estudiante A y el otro va a ser el estudiante B. Entonces, Solo sería sustituir la, la los campos. nombres, sí, los campos que estuvimos, que usted y yo cambiamos. Porque ah, como okay. imaginémonos que ustedes son compañeros de clase y usted llama a Ricardo, o Ricardo le llama a usted, ¿verdad? Y le dice, hola, ¿y qué estás haciendo? Ah, estoy de vacaciones en tal lugar. Y, ah, en serio, ¿y dónde estás? Y ya le dice el lugar. Eh, por eso es de sorprenderse. Y, wow, usa su imaginación. 
la persona que va a contestar, ¿verdad? Para decir el lugar donde está. That's simple. Ah, okay. Okay. Así de simple, ¿ok? okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Eh, entonces, empiece. Hello, are you building the conversation, guys? Sí, ya empezaron a construir. Uno tiene que hacer el personaje A y el otro el personaje B. Ok. Eh, teacher, solo una, una, una cuestión. Yes, eh, en eh, literal A, en la segunda. Eh, y, ah, ya, 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 ya. Sí, no yes. le había entendido. Es, uh -huh. eh, ajá, es la misma donde uno anda, donde uno anda de vacaciones. Eh, es la misma en la segunda A, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. porque le sí, dice ¿verdad? en sí, Singapur. Sí, sí. Lo cuestiona ajá. como quien le dice, ay, ¿con quién andas ahí? wow ¿con quién andas? Entonces, ajá. por eso le dije, no hay límite, usen su imaginación para que sea un lugar increíble, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. le dice, wow, ¿y con quién andas ahí, verdad? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? I am with my wife. ¿Okay? Y entonces, aquí le pueden ustedes agregar, what are you doing? Como él contestó, estoy con mi esposa, probablemente le podríamos haber agregado. I am with my wife. Uh, we are visiting the the beaches. Andamos visitando las playas, por ejemplo. Yes. Yes. Okay. Y eso. Okay. Así de cortita la conversation. But use your imagination. Okay. Okay. In three minutes, you are going to present your conversation. Okay, class? En tres minutos van a presentar su conversación, chicos. Okay. Okay. Have a dinner. Well, I found why. 
Hola. Sí, está bien. Ah, ahora eh, cambiemos. Yo. Sí. Hello. It is Ricardo. I am vacation in, in uh, Mexico. Whoa. In Mexico? Whoa. Who are you with? Where are you dying? In my family. I go I go in the stadium uh, seca. We are well, we are we are going fun, to Azteca Stadium. We what? are going we are going to Azteca Azteca Stadium. Es decir, yo voy a yo estoy yo estoy en el en el estadio Azteca. Ah, pero como está con su familia, ¿verdad? Ah, sería ah, we, the, are, we, we are we are we are nosotros estamos in the Azteca Stadium. Azteca Stadium. Yeah, we, okay. are, in we the, are in the Azteca, Azteca Stadium. Stadium. Yes. Okay. Okay. Continue with the practice. Okay. okay. Uh, one more time. <laughs> Otra vez. Okay. okay. Hello. It is Ricardo. In our vacation in in it. Perdón. In vacation in Mexico. In Mexico? Go. Who are you with? Where are you doing? Uh, in, in my family, uh, we we go we go at the uh, Aztec Stadium. Well, have fun. Bye. Okay, as he dijo, we we go to the es hasta que está bien, pero me recuerdo. Nosotros ah, vamos, have... sí, sería así. Sí, sí, verdad. Nosotros vamos. Ok. Hello. Ah, porque si es, nosotros estamos, es eh, we are. We are. Nosotros estamos. We are. Ah, ok. Ya. Después sería we are hasta que está bien. Ah, sí. Ok. Bueno. Ahora le pregunto. Hello. Hi. It's Carlos. I am on vacation in Guatemala City. In Guatemala? Whoa, how are you with? What are you down? El audio se le, se le apagó. Hello. Uh, we... I am with my wife and my son. Uh, we are in the mall. Well, hot fun. Bye. Excellent. Okay. Very well. Congratulations. Let's return. <clears throat> Good creativity. And now you present it to your partners, okay? Let's wait for Christian and Esperatriz in 30 seconds. They will be back. So we listen to their conversation and they listen to your conversation, okay? Go. So... Hey, Christian is back. Let's wait for Esperatriz. De Los Angeles. She's still there. Okay, I think that we are ready with Carlos and Ricardo. Would you please read your conversations? We are all ears, okay? Hello, Richard Hi. and Carlos. Hi. Begin, okay. with, begin with your conversation. Carlos oh, and okay. Ricardo. Carlos, you're okay, great. Okay. Hello. 
Hi, it's Carlos. I am on vacation in USA. In, in USA? Wow, how are you with? What are you doing? I am with uh, my father. We are uh, New York. We ha have fun by. Cambiamos. Yes. Okay. Hello. Hi, it's Ricardo. I am vacation in Mexico. In Mexico? Whoa. Who are you with? What are you doing? In my family, we are at Azteca Stadium. Well, have fun. Bye. Bye. Finish, teacher. Congratulations. Very well done. Great job. Now, please. I have a question, teacher. Yes, sir. Have a fun means have fun. Uh, que te diviertas. Diviértanse, que te diviertas. Mm -hmm. Que la pasen bonito. Yeah. Emperatriz and Christian Wilfredo. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, hi, it is Christian. I am on vacation in Japan. Uh, in, in Japan? Oh, who are you with? What are you doing? I'm uh, with my family. Well, hi, fun, bye. Bye. Hoy, cambiamos. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello, it's Emperatriz. I am on vacation in, este, in Cancun. In Cancun, wow. Who are you with? Who are, are you doing? I got my family of vacation. Well, have fun. Bye. Uh, bye. Okay. Very well. Bye. The only thing is, okay. what are you doing? <laughs> Not doing. Doing. What are you doing? Very well. Mm -hmm. Great performance. The one that you had today. Okay. So let's continue over here and then we move right here. Here, my weekly routine. Now at page 43, you're going to write about your weekly routine on weekdays. What do you do? What do you do on these days? Let's complete the chart. If you ask me, okay, for instance, this is just um, an example, okay? Over here on weekdays, uh, I get up at five o'clock. At five o'clock, I um, have breakfast at um, five. Thirty a.m. I go to work at six o'clock. To tell you an example, yes, and then you continue with other activities on weekdays. Acá vamos a escribir lo que la rutina de uno de ustedes porque yo me levanto temprano siempre porque trabajo sábado. Okay, here, let's imagine that we don't work on Saturday. I am, imagine, I am imagining that I don't work. Uh, on weekends, I get up at 9, Ay, my dream o'clock. My dream comes true. Sería mi sueño hecho realidad. I get up at 9 o'clock. I... Have a shower at um, 10 o'clock. 
let's imagine, at 10 o'clock. Because it is different, right? The routine o'clock. I have a breakfast at 10.30 a.m. And then you continue. Every day. What do you do every day? ¿Qué es lo que haces todos los días? I start work we work at 8 o'clock. I have a break at 10 o'clock. Okay, let's imagine. I have lunch at noon, justo al mediodía. And then you continue, okay? Here on weekday, generalidad, lo que haces en general, como rutina. On weekends, que hace como rutina los fines de semana, actividades que hacen como un sábado y domingo. Every day, ¿qué haces el día de semana pero como una rutina constante? I start work at 8 o'clock. I have breakfast at 10 o'clock. I have lunch at noon and other activity that you might do, okay? Now you write it with your personal information. Complete this weekly routine. And then you have here an example. I watch television on weekdays. I do too. I also cook on weekdays. I don't cook on weekdays, but I cook on weekends. Esta es una conversación parecida a la que ustedes van a construir cuando ya hayan completado esta información, ¿ok? So, as soon as you finish, you tell me, please. When you finish the completion of this table, you let me know. So we can go over the next activity, which is building a conversation. Teacher, dijo en el primero es todos los días de la semana. Ajá, on weekdays, pero durante la semana, from Monday to Friday, okay? And here's on weekends, Saturday and Sunday. And here every day, todos los días. En común, ¿qué es lo que hace como hábito? La actividad sería, este, tell the class about your partner weekly routine. No, no la activity que... is this one. La actividad es esta, completar ah, esta ah, información. Okay. Ah, Cuando okay, hayamos okay. completado esta información, usted me avisa porque vamos a crear una conversación, ¿sí? Pero ah, okay. en parejas, ok. 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 So, when you finish the completion of this uh, table, you tell me. Dice, y para decir, yo voy, este, por ejemplo, a comprar, I go. I go shopping. I'm I going go. to write it here. I go shopping. Va de compra, ¿verdad? O va al supermercado. No, shopping en general. Ok. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre sell y shopping? Excuse me. Es que sell es vender. O oh voy sería. I go shopping. Yo voy de compras. No voy o cómo se escribe. Be you. Comprar. Buy. Comprar. Buy. ¿Cuál este sería verbo, la diferencia? Este verbo, uh -huh. buy. Buy es comprar. Y go shopping es ir de compras. Este es el verbo ah. comprar y este es ir de compras. Go shopping. Okay. Mm
Ready? Not yet. Aún no están listos. Not yet. Okay. No. no. Two more minutes. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Eh, ¿Cómo sería eh, almorzar a, afuera? Por decir, no en la casa, afuera. Por, I, no, no, no utilizar I restaurant. have lunch out. out. I have lunch out. O almuerza en el trabajo. En el... No, es en el día de semana. Ah, I have lunch out. Ok, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Y que le leo las oraciones. Ya, yeah, your routine. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Please. I get up at uh, nine o'clock. I have a shower at... 10 o'clock, I go shopping, I go at church on weekends, I watch television on weekend, I clean at home every day, I cook on weekends. Ok, pero lo completó en el manual, ¿verdad? Para que vea la frecuencia, sí. No, teacher, en el cuaderno. Ah, ok, este, ok, ah. pero debemos tener clara lo que se hace los días de semana, on weekdays, on weekends, los fines de semana y every day. ¿Está correct? Yes. Oh, ok, yes, okay. Uh -huh. esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Que establezcamos uh -huh. la diferencia con las diferentes sí, rutinas, ok? Uh -huh. No problem, miss, no problem. Ok. Someone uh -huh. else, alguien más? Then we move to the breakout room uh -huh. so you can build your question, your conversation. Uh -huh. Yes, miss? Yo, teacher. Christian. Okay. okay, Christian, sorry. Stay it. Uh, on weekend days, I get up at 5 in the morning. I have breakfast at 8 in the morning. I go to work at 7 o'clock. Uh, on weekends, mm -hmm. I get up at 8 o'clock. I have I buy at 11 o'clock a uh, supermarket every day. Uh, I start work at 7 o'clock. I have a break at 9 o'clock. I have lunch at 2 or 3 uh, after Okay, thank you. I go to buy to the supermarket. I go supermarket. to buy to the supermarket, yes. I go to buy, buy to the supermarket, I yes. Go, I go. 
Okay, Ricardo. Todavía no he terminado, teacher. Ok, Carlos, finish. Did you finish, Carlos? Yes. Ok, please read your routine. I get up, uh, perdón, perdón, um, good day. I get up for a club. I yes. take I take a company's bus. I have a lunch at 1 p.m. and weekends. Uh, I get up at a club. I take a shower at 9 o'clock. I have breakfast at 9.30 uh, every day. I start work 6 p.m. I have a lunch midnight. I finish work 7 a.m. Pero almuerza a la medianoche. Yes. Pero entonces sería sí, cena, no almuerzo. Porque si es ah, a medianoche. Es que ahí es donde me confundí, porque como nosotros almuerzo le decimos cuando estamos de noche. Oh. Mm. Oh. Pero sería eh, dinner, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, es dinner, sí, sí pero ajá, es dinner, la costumbre okay. en el trabajo. Sí, ah, sí, sí. Ajá, ok. Thank you for telling me. Uh, now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can build the conversation similar to this one. In exercise B, compare routines. How are they the same or different? Y vamos a ver que tal vez... Eh, el horario de la comida sea similar y lo demás es distinto, al menos en el fin de semana. You may say, uh, I watch TV on weekdays. Uh, I do too. Yo también. I also cook on weekdays. Yo también cocino los días de semana. Yes, Carlos? Una consulta con respecto a, a, a para decir, tomarse un baño. Yo sabía que era, I take a okay. shower. Okay. Pero, pero aquí veo que usted había puesto... I have a shower. Sí, se puede también. Porque usted no tiene la ducha. Ajá. No, no, no se okay. la lleva. Dicen algunos americanos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Have or take a, 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 a shower, no problem. Entonces, uh, I don't cook on weekdays. Yo no cocino los días de semana. But I cook on weekends, pero cocino los fines de semana, ¿ok? So you are going to read your sentences to your partners as a conversation, ¿ok? In the breakout rooms right now. Two minutes, I think, are enough for this activity, okay? So I'm going to transfer you right now. Speaking time. Only reading your activities, okay? And see if you have a coincidence. I have sent you the invitation. Emperatriz, hello, are you here? Hola. Okay, begin reading your sentences to Christian and Christian will read his to you, okay? ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo sería, teacher? Yo sería, yo sería B. Sí, no, uh, Carlos, eh, perdón, Christian comienza a leer sus oraciones del weekdays, okay? Mm. Y luego usted le lee sus oraciones del weekdays. Luego, on weekends, los fines de semana, Cristian, on weekends, Emperatriz. Every day, mm. Cristian, every day, Emperatriz. ¿Ok? Ok. That's it. Ok. Eh, oh. Lo que hago, lo que hago eh, de lunes a viernes. Sí. Sí, sí, es que aquí imaginémonos que que nosotros trabajamos de lunes a viernes, ¿no? Porque ya sabes. Ajá, ajá, ya, ajá, ya, es, es, es broma, ¿va? <ríe> ok. Eh, entonces, eh, si quiere usted me, me hace la, la cuestión y yo respondo y después yo le, le hago la cuestión para que usted conteste. <ríe> What are you doing in weekday? Ay, Head, head, 
sí, sí, bueno, teacher, ya que está, es para, yo me levanto, es, I had, I get up, I get up, mm -hmm. así, I yes, up. I get up, I get up at 5 a.m., I go to go at, at 7 a.m., I read at go at, uh, City en a eleven go at six bien y me dijo para hacer la cuestión a usted sería what are you doing Carlos what are you doing, are you... doing? Uh, on weekend for for example ajá uh -huh. weekend weekend today sí verdad ajá uh -huh. week weekday pero de, para decirle no, weekends. Pero, weekends, weekends pero para decirle Ajá. pero para decirle eh, qué hace todo what, you, what, what, no, what do, usted qué le quiere preguntar Ricardo día de semana eh, o fin de semana día de semana what do you do on weekdays what do you do on, on weekends week, o oh no porque on, ese fin de semana tendría que ser uh, a week. weekdays what do you, Weekday. Ok. Yes. Entonces, what do you do eh, on week? What do you do on weekdays? What do you do? Ah, ok. Ah, ok. What do you do on weekdays? What do you, what do, you do on weekdays? No, on weekdays. Los días de semana quiere saber él. Ah, ok. Uh, I get up at four o'clock. I take a company's bus. I have a lunch at 1 p.m. Okay. Okay. Entonces sería para lo otro sería what do you do on weekday? Week, weekends. 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 Solo la parte final le cambias nada más. Ajá. Weekday y weekends. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, Carlos, what do you do on weekends? Why? Please, why, please. Wait. Espera un momentito. Wait, wait a second, wait a second, please. Teacher, say me. I said that. Well, continue. Continue. Repeat me after me. What do you do on weekends, Carlos? Uh, I get up at uh, 8 o'clock. I take a shower at 9 o'clock. I have breakfast at 9.30. Ok. Eh, ahora pregúntame. What do you do on weekends? I get up at 9 a.m. I'm going to the park with my son in the afternoon lunch. Oh, oh, me dijo verdad, teacher. Yeah. Sí, mm -hmm. Ok. Y ahí sería, what do you do every day? Every, every day. day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Uh, I, I start to work at uh, 6 p.m. I have a dinner. Midnight. I finish work at 7 a.m. Okay. Uh, What do you do um, every day? I go, I go seven, seven to say, seven to sip, lunch at two at noon, at day home and seven. I, I 
I have lunch. Okay. Eh, eh, es, ajá, uh, uh, I have lunch at 20 noon. At 12. At, at 12, 12 at if you say 20. at 12, that's okay. Or you may say at noon. Okay. Noon. At noon, if you say at noon, it's over understood that it is during the day at 12, exactly at 12. But you cannot say at 12 noon, no. At 12 or at noon. Okay. Ah, Only okay. One. Mm -hmm. That's no, it. No, no, digo, no, digo, no, 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 noon at noon i have lunch at noon at exactly noon. at 12 yeah we ah, understand okay. that it is exactly the time yeah ah, okay teacher yo tengo una, una pregunta yes then el, ese de es eso es el, el, el para qué se utiliza o en qué se utiliza el 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 o el u p el u p ah for example get up Ajá, ya, por ah, ejemplo, ya. It is, it is a preposition that we use uh, to form the phrasal verbs. Es una preposición que usamos para construir los verbos compuestos. Por ejemplo, para ajá, get up, stand up, pick up, sí, levantar, que significa up hacia arriba. Stand up, hacia levantarse. Arriba. Pick up, eh, levantar, sí. Entonces, okay. es una preposición que le ayuda al verbo, a cualquier verbo, a convertirse en otro verbo, ¿sí? En un verbo ah, compuesto. Porque, ah, sí, porque como get eh, no es no. levantar. Sí, sí, le, lo, lograr conseguir obtener son los significados más comunes. Pero ya ah, con, ah. porque usted dice get up, levantarse, get out, salir, get in, entrar, ¿sí? Entonces, okay. es, esa preposición que le agregamos al verbo le da otro significado, ¿ok? Quizás eso es lo más difícil del inglés. Ya, yeah, we para, need to como learn lo, the phrase of verbs. Como los verbos para, con, con, ¿cómo se llama? Para hacer los verbos compuestos. Correcto, así Ajá. es. Ok, let's return because okay. the others Thank are you. telling me that. Ok. okay. Thank we you. need to get back. Thank you. Y yo quiero saber, Cristian, ¿por qué está compartiendo aquí las respuestas? Cuénteme. En el ah, chat. no, perdón. Sí. No, es que aquí me... Aquí le es que, respuestas a todos los compañeros. No, no, perdón, es que, es que Emperatriz me estaba preguntando. Porque no le, no le, no le salía bien. Una. Eh, unas. A veces Entonces, es por, por un puntito o por una letra, ¿verdad? Ajá, por eso es que se la, por eso es que se la envía, porque sí, ahí me decía que le salía mal. Ajá. Ok, let's continue. Here we go. Mientras regresa Emperatriz, ok. Uh, here, let's continue with the manual. Now we're going to go over a survey here. Ok, and you are going to tick and we write, you write the names, ok. Uh, here we need one of you in order to ask the questions to the others. Ok, for example, if I say, um, Ricardo, number one, Ricardo, do you live with your parents? Ricardo, do you live with your parents? Vive con sus papás. Mi microphone. Ricardo, microphone. Open your microphone. Yes, I do or no, I don't. Do you live with your parents? Ricardo, no le escucho, Ricardo Flores. El micrófono. Active el micrófono porque no, no se le escucha. Bien, entonces vamos con Cristian. Cristian, Wilfredo, do you live with your parents? Uh, no. No, I don't. So we check over here. No, I don't. And I write the name here. Okay, who answered that? Well, it was Christian. Yeah? No, I don't. Mm. And then if I say, uh, Christian, do both your parents work? Trabajan tus papás, los dos, mamá y papá. Do they work? No. No, they don't. No, so no, what they do I, no, they don't. Okay, no, so no, I'm going to take it like in here. Okay. Uy. Okay, over no, there. They... And then I'm going no, to write no. your name over here in Christian. 
I write the name Christian, okay? And this is what you are going to be doing right now in the breakout rooms, okay? In the groups, you are going to complete this. If I ask Christian, later Christian asks me, yeah? And then we report to the class. Is that okay? Yes? Yes. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. And right now you go to the breakout room. Yes, Teacher. sir. No, no. No comprendí. Eh, tuve problemitas aquí y solo escuchaba que me, uh -huh. me hablaba, pero no, tené, no pude. Okay. It is over here. Okay. Yo le, es que quería hacer el ejercicio con usted, pero como creo que tenía problemas de audio, ¿verdad? Entonces lo practiqué con Cristian. Yo le hago estas preguntas a Cristian y él me responde. Si es afirmativo, hago clic aquí. Si no, como él okay. las dos respuestas me dio negativas y escribo el nombre de la persona que me da las respuestas porque quiere decir quién, a quién he entrevistado, ¿sí? Luego, Cristian me tiene que entrevistar a mí y él escribe si mi respuesta es afirmativa o negativa y escribe mi nombre, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Sí? Sí, Ricardo, ¿comprendimos? Yes. Hola, Ricardo. Ok, great. Yes, yes, yes. Ok. So right now I'm going to uh, send you to the breakout rooms. Ok, join to the groups, please. Una hora después contesto Emperatriz. Ok, go to your groups, but she is in the groups right now. Ok, Carlos, go to your group. Ay, no. Le contesto. O yo le, o yo le hago las preguntas. Mira, este, ahí te, te envié un video. Ahí el grupo, más que todo, lo envié de la parafraseo para que más o menos entendas eso. Ah, ok. Hey, thank you. Va, sigamos con eso. Ok. Do you live, do you live with your parents? No, I don't. No. Okay. You brother your parents call? Both of your parents oh. work? You both your parents call? Ok, begin the interview. Comience con la entrevista. Do you live with your parents? Do you live? Do you live mm -hmm. with your parents? No, I don't. I live husband. 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 I live with my husband. I live, I live with my husband. Do do about your parents work? Uh, no, no, they not. No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. Do you watch television at night? Yes, I do. Uh, do you eat dinner with your family? Yes, I do. Do you stay home at weekends? On weekends? On weekends. Uh, yes, I do. I go like this. <laughs> Sometimes. Do you work on Saturday? Uh, I don't. No, I don't. Do you like quite two parts? Uh, no. I don't. 
No, I no, no, I don't. Do both your parents work? No, they not. Do you watch television at night? Yes, I do. Do you eat dinner with your, your family? Yes, I do. Do you stay home on weekend? Yes, I do. Do you go on Saturday? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. And now you, Christian, you ask the questions to Emperatriz. Usted ya le hizo las preguntas a Emperatriz, Christian. Sí. Yes. Sí, ah, yeah. okay, great, excellent. So let's return to the main session room, okay? Very well. You finished the survey. Terminaron la encuesta, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. Okay, great. Sí, sí. Okay. Let's wait for Imperatriz. Now listen, I'm going to give you some tips and you are going to tell me a famous person that I am describing. It is a man. He lives, he is originally from South America. He is very famous. Uh, he loves soccer. He is a man. It is a man. He is from South America. South America. He loves soccer. He, he, used, he used to play in Barcelona. He used to play soccer in Barcelona. He used to live in Barcelona. Who am I talking about? Who am I describing? ¿A quién estoy describiendo? Um, he is uh, married. He has Ronaldinho. Children. No. He he is married. He has children. He is going to play in Miami. La ciudad de Shakira. Ah? No, 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 it is a man. He loves Hombre. soccer. Uh-huh. He is married. He has children. He Acá won está. the yeah, he won the world chip, uh, the world championship. Where uh -huh. is he he from? Uh -huh. no, the name of the man. He is a soccer player. He is from mm -hmm. Argentina. Ah, uh, Messi. Yes, oh, Messi. Yes, ah, Messi. yes. It was obvious. Yeah. No, okay. es que como mencionó Brasil, por no, eso es que me fui por... South, no, I said he is from South America. Es de Suramérica. No dije Brasil. South, South America, yeah. Okay, so that was the uh, activity that, okay, I think of famous person, your classmates ask yes some question to get the person. But I gave you the tips and you were supposed to say the famous person. Easier for you. Okay, class, it's time to say goodbye. But remember, I need you to continue working actively in the platform. Yes? Tomorrow yes. we have a class. Thank you so very much because I know that you are coming from work all night long and you made the sacrifice to be here. Congratulations for your responsibility. Teacher. Yes, sir. Solo un comentar comentario antes. Yo le decía a Cristian, eh, porque tenía problemitas con la, con la plataforma, eh, uh -huh. le decía a Cristian de que los horarios de esta clase, ¿Sí? por lo menos que salimos nosotros de velado, lo tendrían que tener como considerado por la parte de que muchos eh, descansan este día y por eso la ausencia en las clases también. Por, yo, yo se lo decía a Cristian porque eh, como... Trabajamos de noche, salimos desvelados y, y habitualmente ahorita todos están desvelados o, o algunos eh, aprovechan el día porque ya mañana hacen sus diligencias, ¿verdad? Para sí. que tal vez pues, vieran la forma de, de ver el horario de por lo menos de este, de este día de clases, si se alargaron un poquito más, en la, más, más tarde o 
lo cambiaran, pero no sé ahí para qué ahí, ahí usted. ustedes tendrían que hablar con la administración porque la administración y recursos humanos de su empresa son quienes organizan los horarios, ¿verdad? Yo, a mí ah, ya, ya cuando como... está, no, está bien, eh, no hay problema, a mí me, me envían ya el horario cuando está listo, ahí sería bueno que ustedes hablen con la administración del grupo de WhatsApp para que consideren esa situación, porque yo no sé los horarios de ustedes, no organizo horarios, Ajá. es recursos yo humanos solo... con ellos, sí, yo los entiendo, y en ese problema estuvimos con el curso anterior, se repitió en un par de ocasiones, yo los uh -huh. comprendo, entonces ahí sería que le hagan el comentario a, a, a la administración de, eh, de Regal, ¿verdad?, de inglés corporativo, sí, ¿De acuerdo? Sí, porque, okay. teacher, porque iba a las tres, me desperté y a esa hora empecé a conectarme, teacher, por eso me conecté tarde, estaba dormida. Oh, ok, gracias <risa> por haberse conectado. Yo por eso, igual <risa> me conecté tarde, por eso, por eso le escribí, cuando yo desperté, <risa> le <risa> escribí que me iba a conectar tarde, porque como solo vine y me, me dormí, no había desayunado y iba sí. a almorzar hasta más tarde. Entonces sí, almorcé primero. Cambia para el horario totalmente. Ok, bye. Entonces eh, yo voy a hacer el comentario también, ¿verdad? Que consideren okay. los horarios que ustedes vienen a trabajar de noche. Ok, sí, thank you so very thank much. You. Ok, you. bye bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. bye See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.